Hello, we are discussing about the GET solutions for 2005 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is second one more question given in 2005. A silicon PN junction at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade has a reverse saturation current of 10 pico amperes. The reverse saturation current at 40 degrees centigrade for the same bias is approximately A. 30 pico amperes B. 40 pico amperes C. 50 pico amperes D. 60 pico amperes Given that one silicon PN junction at a temperature of 20 degree centigrade has reverse saturation current of 10 pico amperes If the temperature is going to be increases, nothing is changed increases to 40 degree centigrade what happens to reverse saturation current? The correct answer for this one is B 40 pico amperes Reverse saturation current it is mainly due to minority carriers and minority carriers is only function of temperature when temperature increases minority carriers increases why? as temperature increases more and more number of pollen bonds will break by that time more and more number of electron hole pairs will be created Whenever more and more electron hole pairs are created by that time that will be added to majority carriers as well as minority carriers because they are in equal number but majority carriers are more minority carriers are small so that for a large number if you are going to add a quantity that will be a small but smaller one that is for minority carriers even if you are adding a small quantity that will be a larger one so the rate of addition is going to be very very small for majority carriers rate of addition is considerable for minority carriers so as temperature increases minority carriers increases when minority carriers increases the current due to minority carriers increases so that reverse saturation current increases so reverse saturation current is a function of temperature now we are coming to the question assume T1 is 20 degree centigrade and T2 is 40 degree centigrade and reverse saturation current at T1 is given as 10 pico amperes so we are making it as IC0 of T1 is equal to 10 pico amperes you need to calculate reverse saturation current at T2 degree centigrade that is at 40 degree centigrade the general formula with respect to temperature for reverse saturation current is IC0 of T2 is equal to IC0 of T1 into 2 power T2 minus T1 by 10 reverse saturation current gets doubled for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature it's a standard statement reverse saturation current gets doubled for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature so if the temperature is rise by 10 degree centigrade that is in this equation t2 minus t1 is 10 degree centigrade for example then 2 power 10 by 10 it will be equal to 1 2 power 1 2 power 1 is nothing but 2 so the previous reverse saturation current is going to be multiplied by 2 that is nothing but reverse saturation current is getting doubled if there is a change in temperature is 10 degree centigrade rise so in this equation the known quantities IC0 of T2 we are interested to calculate IC0 of T1 is given as 10 pico amperes and 2 power 40 minus 20 that is 20 by 10 is nothing but 2 so 2 power 2 that is 4 4 into 10 is 40 pico amperes so reverse saturation current will become 40 pico amperes at at 40 degree centigrade so the correct answer is b 40 pico amperes thank you